Hello everyone, today I'm going to review maybe the smallest 35mm f0.95 lens on the market, the TT Artisan 35mm f0.95, a compact lens full of character. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker. I run this Fujifilm channel, so if you like Fuji content, subscribe and ring the bell. Those of you who follow the channel know how much I like TT Artisan lenses, especially the 35mm f1.4. I think that is the best budget lens you can buy for the Fujifilm system. And now I am glad to say that TT Artisan sent me this 35mm f0.95 lens to review and give you my honest opinion about it. One of the things I love about TT Artisan lenses is their build quality and the fact that they have aperture rings with clicks. That is a big plus for me. As I said earlier, this lens is small, just look at it compared to my 35mm f2WR lens from Fujifilm. It is a bit heavier, but it balances very well on my Fujifilm cameras. It weighs only 247 grams, making it a great walk around, super bright lens. The construction is all metal, the mount is metal and it has no electronic contacts. This means it is fully manual and you are not going to get any EXIF data from this lens. TT Artisan went with a new design for this one compared to their older lenses and I like it, it reminds me of some now vintage lenses. So does the image quality, but more on this later. The lens has nice engraved markings, even the markings on the small aperture ring are engraved, big plus for that. As I said, the aperture ring has clicks between stops and I think it is nicely balanced. The lens cap is metal and a screw-on, just like on other TT Artisan lenses. I'm not a fan of this, but sometimes it is good to slow down a bit so this may benefit some users. It has a minimum focus distance of 35cm, which is quite good, more about image quality later. It has 10 diaphragm blades, the optical design is 7 elements in 5 groups and it has an unbeatable price of $200. As I said at the beginning of the video, this lens has character. Some people call this defects, some character. It depends on what you are looking for. If you are looking for the sharpest f0.95 lens on the planet, well this is not the one, but that doesn't mean it is bad. At f0.95 you get plenty of details in the middle of the image if you manage to achieve perfect focus. You need some practice with these f0.95 lenses, but that is what makes them so rewarding. The corners at f0.95 are really soft, but that makes this lens somewhat special because it has a different look. This look character should be interesting for a video. It looks like a dream cinema lens and should satisfy people that want a vintage soft look in their footage or photos. Stopping this lens down to f1.4 as expected improves the image quality in the center, but the corners remain soft. Keep in mind that I tested this lens on the Fujifilm X-T5 with its demanding 40 megapixel sensor. The density of pixels on this sensor shows all the flaws in a lens. Stopping this lens more to f2.8 again improves the image quality, making the center very sharp. And when you stop this lens down to f5.6 it becomes pretty sharp even on the X-T5, which is quite great. To get sharp corners you need to stop down to f8 and they look the best at f11, but during the day you will shoot between f5.6 and f8 anyways, and at these apertures the lens is very sharp on my X-T5. Now let's take a look at minimum focus distance. At f0.95 you get a decent amount of details, but you need to stop down to f2.8 for good results. The bokeh of the lens again is quite interesting, adding to its character. 
When it comes to chromatic aberrations, well, it is as you expect. At f0.95, you can see purple on contrasting edges and light sources. They go away if you stop down to f2. Flare. Well, without a lens hood, you will see them when you shoot against bright lights. But they look pretty decent, and some of you will enjoy them as they influence this lens character. So, is the TT Artisan 35mm f0.95 for everyone? Well, no, but at least now you know. Some people are going to love this lens and some people will dislike it. Its compactness, build quality and price make it a very interesting choice for people that are looking for a lens with character. The image quality is interesting and can give you some vintage-like look results without using any apps. Also, if you stop it down, you will get pretty sharp images even on demanding sensors like the one on the Fujifilm X-T5. So, if you are looking for a special effects lens with a dreamy look for photo or video, just go right ahead and get one. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, like and if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description. See you next time!